uh, floor one conference three go in my model again space types and look for any uh, space type that you want to assign maybe let's say you want to assign a lobby space type this time to this space okay so now it has a new space type do you want to assign the construction set at directly space well you can do that if you have let's say a, a conference room which is a tot which is totally an isolated body and it has different kind of construction set you can assign it here schedule set if you remember we assigned a new schedule set for just this conference room 104 it overrides the information that has been provided through this space type method well there is no space type so it is basically going to use this schedule set okay and let's say if you want to remove some uh, spaces from the total floor area uh, calculation you can just uncheck any of these spaces here okay i don't like to play around a lot with my spaces because i have created my geometry in sketchup and without uh, visualizing what is happening here i don't want to delete anything so very important guys just be very careful when you delete something here okay I'm not going to do this exercise here to bring a new schedule set or space type. We already have done it in my previous videos. So for example, if you want to change, see how the schedule, uh, how can you change the schedules? Look for my schedule video. Same thing with space types. Okay. So go to Airflow now. You can see we have all that Airflow information that we assigned at uh, space type level. So we have object air objects. Uh, I'm sorry, outdoor air objects, the infiltration information, everything is already there. Okay, go to loads now. So if you remember, we assigned the new loads for this conference 104 room. We created everything from scratch. That's in the load video. There is a video for internal loads. So look into that. You can change the schedule.